welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We got Mr. J here today. We're gonna do a little lot tour. I always do these by myself, and I don't know what I got for sale or don't, or prices, prices. and all that stuff. So, what's left? We brought the man with the plan. We'll probably go visit Uncle Scott here after a bit and do some Jeep stuff. Everybody's always asking prices on some of my stuff. So, I guess we're gonna start over here, maybe. Starting this I did just here. load up a backup. Where's that going? That was actually going to Mexico. Mexico, no cat 416. We got. I bought a bunch of stuff off of. The state sale a couple weeks ago that was part of it so it's actually one owner back of believe it or not so we'll get over here and check out some of this stuff all right got a big het i believe you got a deposit on that yep it's it's sold going to uh we got moving houseboats we got houseboats we got plenty more out back you guys need more of those this truck here is not mine it's actually a uh old customers and uh he's wanting to sell this thing i believe this is a turkish truck but we got to put some tires and stuff on it but this thing will be for sale if anybody's interested very very low miles it's a very special unique truck all independent suspension all axle steer so it's got airbags on it now that's why you guys kind of see it sitting on the ground but uh it's got a little cat diesel in it but hopefully I have a video on that but if somebody's interested in this thing um it will be for sale so i think he's going to ask in the upper 60s or so on it but uh start over here in the bulldozers we got a 700j ready to go we got that all this stuff's on our website too i'll try to it's always linked down below one of the x pipe layers yeah this has very low track hours on it what we're asking on this 80 something 85 9 we got a uh, one owner original cat d6d here you guys probably watched we did a government video on this yeah it's a government machine what's it got around 8,000 hours on or something around eight yeah we've got it listed what in the 40s 42. or something yeah on our website but it's all original got one d7 left that's a very low hour tractor I actually didn't paint this one um it come in very clean like that so got the ripper on it oh one rebuild 500 hours or so it's in what the 70s on our website probably right at 70 69 got one 313 left you've sold all of them but one all but one this is the last one this is a good one i've took this and run it quite a bit it's been at my house for a while and all that stuff so i could deal on it if anybody wants it yep if not, it's going to go up the road to a special place here. So we do have something very big coming down the road. You guys are probably going to see that into next week or so. Um, got something big in the works, but uh, stay tuned for that. We got... We've actually got three of these 35 size machines. Somebody may have one of them Somebody at my took house. one home. I don't, know who it was. I don't know either. Yeah, we got two 35Gs and Hitachi, which... Hitachi makes the John Deere 35 G's. They're all new or late model stuff. This one's what, only 100 or 200 hours or something? Right at 200 hours on it. Yeah, very, very good machines. These are probably by far one of the best mini excavators out of all the brands in my opinion, but they're just super durable and quick and all that stuff. So strong. This thing, if you guys uh, watched uh, Scrappy Industries YouTube channel, you guys might recognize this. I actually bought this off of them. If you've not seen his channel, definitely go over and check it out. But uh, I bought this off of him. You've sold it already, haven't you? It is. It's going to a local farmer. Yep. He had a video doing a bunch of working stuff on this recently. So, but it's gone. We had that big John Deere 350's gone. Yep. The case is gone. Case that you guys just probably just watched a couple videos on. It's gone. 50 right here's gone. So this come from, viewers. come from a state sale, too. I just bought it at one owner where that cat backhoe come from. We got two rollers for sale i might have one somewhere else at my house i'm Just a hoarder everything home we got lots of forklifts anybody need a forklift what are these priced in the uh we've got we've got them listed for like 39 and, and then 29 for the hail Haley, Haley. Haley. all the highest hours like 12 hours on one of these i got to confiscate one of these you know that you'll take my, another one my new place okay Gotta stay well, tuned for that. For <laughs> He's got some. We got a golf cart for sale. We're turning into power sports industry too. Here. We do. We've got some golf cart. Here. You got what? Forty-two hundred on that. This is yeah. gas. It's like a twenty eleven, I believe. I actually bought this for a project and ended up getting a free golf cart off Let's Dig eighteen. So I don't need it, but it's for sale. Three thirty one G. Good size machine. It's one of the bigger ones. Pretty color. We know where that comes from. <laughs> what do you got on that thing? 
got that list for what, 47. It's got 2,000 hours or something on it. It is, right? At, a little over two. We got a couple of nice 325Gs, like both, low hours. Both of them low hours. I think this one has 200 and some hours. Both one, one owner machines. Um, this one's more kind of standard. It's got the smaller tracks on it, but it is a two speed. It's two speed, okay. Uh, but neither one of them have high flow. Yeah, this one's two speed with the wider tracks. Both have high dog or the quick couplers quick on couplers. them. Electric quick it's couplers. Like 700 hours, it's like 250 or something. This one come from that same one owner with the cat back on that 50G and some of that other stuff. Nice. Very nice machines, you guys looking for 325G. Got this big dude here for sale too, so. Still got this one. Anybody's looking for a deal on this, hit us up. We're uh, ready to move that thing. Good ranch truck. Ranch truck, it can do anything you want. Oh, we got my Kubota here too, I forgot yeah. about it. More Spire Power Sports. So this is my uh, personal 2018 Kubota. I bought this thing. It was actually a repo. It was. Come out of the didn't have very many hours on. I think I bought it in 18 late or 19. But um, I actually just come across a uh, newer John Deere Gator. So I kind of upgraded, I guess, or something. Or downgraded. I don't know. <laughs> this has got 300 and some hours on. All original. Uh, it's got heat, AC, all that stuff. I think it's got like 2,200 miles. So I just used it around the place. You guys probably seen it in some auction videos, but very nice unit, ready to go. It's price, I got price 18.5, so yep. we need that. You got this cat sold, I believe. Zero four sold, yep. Got a ham roller. It's for sale on the website. It's ham roller, yeah, around 38.9. Smooth we drum. We got the pad shell, kit shell for kits for it, so got a couple of those. Little drag line still sitting here. Got a. 923 five ton army truck for yep. sale. I have a local trade in. Well, it's all painted up, looking nice. What you got on it? Uh, 14.5. It's not a bad deal. Got a hard top on it. Yep. Good Why does it look like we're in a trailer business here? We even sold a trailer yesterday. Did we? Yeah. So I've been buying all these estate sales out and they come with all these trailers. I even got one hooked to my truck right now that I may have adopted for a little <laughs> bit, but we've got uh, lots of trailers. This is actually a local guy who was building these. They're pretty good old built trailers. Yep. Um, you got these all priced, pretty reasonable priced, I know, on some of these. Yep. This one's what, in a 3,000? Yeah, mid threes. This one's. So that's a, was that, 10K trailer? It did a 10,000 pound gooseneck, 18 foot. And this is a, a 20K, the old backhoe trailer. trailer. You've got it priced pretty cheap, don't you? Yeah, 34. 3,400. We got a newer late model interstate. What well, you got it priced at? Yeah, I think that's around. I need to go look for sure. Eight thousand. That's a twenty well, thousand pound. Eight thousand. Yeah, twenty thousand pound trailer. Dyna Weld is too. Dyna, you got priced a little cheaper, I know, on it. So. Yeah, yeah we've got the trailers. You got another H E T all done. You got these sitting around with that seventy thousand mark or so. Right around. Well, a little less than that, but yeah. Okay. We've got plenty of these. I noticed um, Uncle Scott's been keeping some new attachments in stock, a new line. We got what, Mar Attach now? Mar Attach. We've been selling them with our um, Bombalite stuff because they sell Bombalite equipment. Yeah, we season. got one Bombalite mini skid steer left too. You cut somebody deal on we too. Need to so. get rid of that one. Yeah, it's we a got brand one new. Sitting on the front porch. Maybe I we'll guess get you'd it. say leftover now because it's 23. But... It is. Brand new, unused. Sitting on the front porch. You guys have probably seen it in the videos. but Yeah, we started carrying this brand. They look like they're built pretty nice. Super heavy duty. I know we've always got plenty of attachments. Most of the stuff's all American made. You got the Halverson couple of grapples here. These are just the standard Halverson grapples. Yep, those are made up in all grapples. Minnesota? Yep. Yep. USA made stuff. Some tillers, it's that time of year. Yep, got some tillers, cheap tillers in stock. Got lots of forks. Four on bucket over there. Grapple buckets. I see you got a new bush hog here too. Montac bush hog. Martac. Kind of like this. It's got a float and you can lock it where it floats, huh? Yeah. So you're not digging in the ground. Thing's built pretty yeah, nice. It's a heavy duty. For the money, that's a black machine. It's got the roller on the back of it. <clears throat> not a bad deal. Got uh, three jackhammers there for skid steers also. You guys need any of those? You this thing. Uh, you need to sell it to somebody. Somebody need a big monster truck. Monster truck. Three thousand dollars, and come get this. You heard it right here. Three thousand. Yeah. Wow. There's no. Well, there nope. is a motor in it. it but it, 
It's a DT530, but it blew up. Yeah. Somebody needs some. The tires are worth that much. Wow. My kids go away next week. <laughs> uh, do we have cat backo buckets now? You know, I never did. I guess I got to sell those separately. So if anybody's <laughs> got an older style cat backo, 416s, the old, that B model. Yep. I guess we got a 36 inch and a 12 inch cat backo bucket. That's something that, well, we usually don't mess with. So anybody's got an older cat backo, um, drop us emails or give us a call. So we got plenty more attachments up there. Kind of the same stuff you guys just seen. I'm not going to bore you with it. Selling these M35s off. Of yeah, we've been selling my old deuce and a halfs. Um, so some good projects left. There's some are parts, but yeah, we got a bunch of those sitting over there too. But been what that five thousand dollar range or so. It just depends if it's got a winch or not. Five, right, four to five. A few attachments and stuff. Jeep bodies. Mr. Scott's got Jeep bodies. We'll probably catch up with him. I know everybody wants some prices on Jeep bodies and stuff, but you got a bunch of Halverson stuff just coming in too. Load in. We got low over the winter and just got stocked back up. So this is a Halverson grapple saw. So you guys see the blade in it here. It actually comes down and will cut your logs off and stuff. I don't know if you've seen the, the new updated grapple saw. Uh-uh. I got the... It's wider. The two pinchers on it. Two pinchers come down and hold the log a little Keep bit Keep your logs so it don't get crooked. They still sell both styles. This is a little heavier. So that's a single point, point in the middle. I noticed the log... Sometimes you don't get a square cut because the log could be crooked. So that one's going to hold a little square, so... You've got 120s, 140s, and 150s. Right, extended. extended 150s. So, guys, need Halverson, hit us up. There's a lot of them sitting there. A lot of dollars sitting there. There is. Hey, we got all the junk. Hunter snowmobile still sitting here. I don't know what he's doing with it. Get that going. He took apart a whole pressure washer motor and stuff last night. I'm like, you need to be working on that. <laughs> You've got a whole bunch of brand. I'm gonna say they're not quite brand new. These are all takeoff stuff these are all out of the john deere factory they're john deere excavator cylinders out of their new series excavators if they were testing them or if they were just if anybody needs some heavy duty cylinders um you got most of these listed on our website but they are listed on the website these are if all you need different size if you need measurements i'm happy to get those for you so these are all like their new generation john deere version the excavators e yeah the eep series i don't know the new They're actually all john, john deere machines john deere. yeah so we ended up with these, we bought a bunch of stuff out of a factory deal, but a lot of them look like they've not been used very much. Like, if anybody's needing some big high pressure hydraulic cylinders, hit us up on that, so. Monster truck. Monster truck, there's a video coming out in this thing very soon, people. Stay tuned for that. I left it, I left a lot of things in the viewer's choice on that, so. Oh, all right. You guys might notice Kevin's not here. He's on vacation, so. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta. It's a project, but we did, I'll, I'll just leave you guys hanging on that. <laughs> did pick up a forklift, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. I guess it's got a Chrysler 318 in it. Really? Yeah. A gas motor, huh? And uh, I know everybody was pissed off at me for selling my TD25 I said it's gonna keep. Yeah, well, but guess what? I had a backup, people. <laughs> Another reason I sold that dozer, you're gonna learn next week, we bought some property up the road and that helped fund that too, so we gotta do what we gotta do, but don't worry. We got another one sitting here with the red, white, and blue winches on it. So, utility company. Utility power line winches. I had a lot of comments on that because I put that in the last video that came out. But uh, we'll get into that later. HGTs we've not gone through yet, but can be ready to go. Yeah, we kind of stockpile stuff, especially the government surplus. You kind of got to buy it when you can get it because you never know if you're getting it again. With that being said, that explains all this over here. So, I bought what, like. 10 about or 12? 10, I think 10 total. X forestry. There's a whole fleet. There's Between deers and dressers. Over. Two in the shop. There's one outside over here. Paint booth. We just got these things out of different forestry across the country. We got a couple of 450Js. We had a lot of people asking about these. Um, we got TD8s, H's, TD9 H's, TD9 M's. TD9, the new ones. One TD9 M. Not much difference in them, really. All the dresser dresses have winches on them. Um, the John Deere's do not, but we can put winches on any of these John Deere's. I even have a winch for a G Series John Deere if you guys are um, looking for one. But uh, these are all 500 to 2,000 hours, 1,900 or something. Yep. I think power tractors. 2,000 is the highest hour to 500. All pre emissions. These little Drestas are in the John Deere's uh, 3.9 Cummins and Drestas. 
no computers. These G series, you guys know, are bulletproof. No, they don't look pretty in these pictures. You don't need to be showing this, but <laughs> no, they will look nice here shortly. You guys know what they look like in the other end. We gotta go through them. Mr. Mason's in here working on one now. But prices are gonna start in the upper 40s on those. Yep. On our website. Now, if somebody's wanting a project or buy one as is, um, we might be able to do a little bit better on that or something. But we're just kind of going through these as we get to them. I do know a couple of those. Utep for sale, I think. There's another trailer I just got. Back. Another trailer I just got hooked last night. It's hooked up to my truck. I think we're gonna keep this one for a little bit. We got stuff going on in here. We even got the wheel horse in here. Ooh. You guys might have known I've had this wheel horse. I bought it a few auctions ago, but I'm trying to get it fixed up because it's got to go to the new piece of property I bought. So, guys, stay tuned for that. Mr. Mason's in there stripping off a uh, 450G, uh, rebuilding a cylinder and stuff on it. Mason, don't tell me you just tipped over your toolbox. No. <laughs> sure? oh, okay. You never organize anything. Are you okay? I like what you're snapping on I'm putting undercarriage on. We're doing a video on this tractor. Uh, this thing over here has a bunch of videos coming out later, uh, probably next month. But this is a 300 hour 450G, believe it or not, 1996. But a bunch of stuff coming on. It got completely sabotaged, didn't it? It did. Got a lot of stuff messed up on it. So I'm going to leave you guys hanging on it. Um, it, uh, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, we still got to do more work on it. But uh, that's about it in the equipment stuff. We got the little bomber light sitting out here. These things are awesome little well built machines. I want to warn everybody, they are dumping so many of these um, China, made. China imports. And I know they're a fraction, looking at welds and the fraction of the cost, but these things are built. The, the quality is so beam. much better. You can get parts for them. They're not made in China. They're made up in Canada. Made. Got a Kubota motor in them. We've got attachments for them, but you just get what you pay for. They've got all the repair videos on their website. Um, get parts very easily. Got the little Kubota diesel in them, but what's the... Uh, price on these dudes i know so like re retail is like 37 i know we can get uh i mean 32 or maybe even a little less we need to see i'd say we can do 31 on it somebody's looking for one so brand new zero hours um but yeah be careful of all that china stuff that's coming out because i don't know where you're gonna get parts of that stuff or buy two or three at a time so hello hey how's it going good, good. we're trying to sell bomber lights get rid of your porch ornament That'd be great. Where's Uncle Scott at? We need to talk about Jeeps. Hey, Uncle Scott. Yeah. Jeep time. Jeep, you're Jay, up. Jay's over. Jay's Uncle Scott is, is up. Down. Hey, what do you need me for? Later. <laughs> if you're not seeing Miss C has a channel called, Thank what's you, it called? Mrs. Clinton. Of CNC equipment? I don't think so. I think it's just Mrs. Clinton. Okay. <laughs> you want to see some of the back? Office behind life. the scenes, behind the Office scenes, life. more updated. You guys know I kind of post my videos out. This one did get shot on Friday. You guys are probably watching on Sunday, so I do put these out. But my other videos are scheduled. That way I'm not rushing like she is today to try to get footage for a video. <laughs> it's not good. How about Jeeps, Uncle Scott? I you get so many Scott? questions. Do we have complete Jeeps? We don't have complete Jeeps. We have body kits. We have so body the kits. Tub, the fenders, the hood, the grill. I get that question so many times. So you got to have yeah. your so power. With a key. You got to have your powertrain and your axles. Powertrain, your axles, your brake system, your Basically, you need an old rusted down Jeep. Exactly. If you need a new frame, you've got them covered on that too. Mm, yeah. Getting kind of low on frames, but. We got more though, right? We got more ordered. So, CJ3A sitting on the front porch. Um, what's body kit cost so you got just a tub and then this is basically a body kit body kit's got the hood fenders grill windshield tailgate tailgate what's so the body the kit tubs, cost tubs start out around 2500 so that's just from here back no yeah. windshield no windshield no tailgate 2500 ish 2500 um depending on model and then the body kits start out around 3000 okay go on up so we have everything from 1941 to 1986. Yep, your World War II Jeeps and your CJs. So CJ5, CJ7, CJ8. You got CJ8 scramblers, and of course they're a little more money too because they're bigger exactly. and longer. So 
This frames for the holders. Yeah, frames are for the flat fingers only. No, no right. CJ5 or CJ7 frames. And I know we got a bunch of parts over here. You want to check a, you check a those out? Parts, yeah. So you guys heard some price. That's just ballpark. If you guys need any Jeep stuff, make sure you contact Uncle Scott. Your email is jeep at ccsurplus.com, right? That's right. Or Put you the get, link down there in the bottom of the video. I'll, I'll do that right here. Okay. This is your little small parts room. You guys have probably seen this before. But you've got you've got all kinds of stuff. You got what fuel tanks? Got tank wells, tank, got tank wells. Doors. We've got cross members. You got frame extension. You guys know the end of the frame horns on these old Jeeps get tore up. Well, Jen, you set on bumpers, cross members. You got it all rubbers, got toolbox all lids. Seat pans for the old World War II Jeeps. Got some bumpers left, cross members. And I know you keep replacement like floorboards and stuff too, don't you? I do have some stuff for the CJs on out of the MB and GPW floor pans. I see some replacement panels for the front of quarter the tubs cows, there. Yep. Quarter cows, what you call them. Yep. So the red stuff and the red primer is all military stuff, right? It is. A lot of the stuff. It's a lot of stuff the same. Yeah, but the same. So this is like a really popular item. Like your finger braces. Yeah, those always rot fingers. out yep. underneath and sit up under there. Yeah. I know my old Jeep, I made some by hand. <laughs> Spare tire mounts of the butt. Reds, military. Your black's more civilian stuff. Mm -hmm. I see you got some shifter boots there. Shifter boots, got those, and we got the, the leather shifter boots. So. Oh, yeah. All kinds of Bumperettes. stuff. Bumperettes. Lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. Lots of bodies still left in stock. So. Yeah, we'll go in the warehouse and check out stuff here. You guys don't know we are the uh, U.S. dealer for AVM lockout hubs. are made in Brazil. We keep lockout hubs for just about everything made under the sun, right? All Pretty the close. flooring stuff and yep, of course the Suzu's and uh, the weird stuff. Nissan's those are they're big sellers. Like um, overseas stuff. We got even the two and a half ton military lockouts. Got all the Dana 44s, 60s, all the U.S. stuff too, but Ford Ranger hubs, I know that's a big seller used to be, so. The Super Duty hubs are. Super Duties, so. yeah, we got the nearest Super Duty one, so. Warehouse is going on over here. We got hard tops for military trucks. Looks like Jay's shipping one of those out, or you are, or somebody. Time with a window. Yep. Out. Got all your cardboard boxes in here. Got a lot of boxes. So you got Jeep frames in stock up there. All these crates you see here are bodies, either complete bodies or just tubs or all that stuff. So, and I've got another warehouse full of them too, right? Yep, 37 I counted the other day. You guys know we sell ITR undercarriage. You seen it in the shop, we was putting a uh, undercarriage on a dozer. So, you've got wheels, got wheels, got gas tanks, tailgates, got dump horse for military trucks. You got your bigger stuff out here, look like CJ fenders. Flat the fenders. NB, NB flat fenders. Yep. Grills, hoods, seats. This looks like the uh, center transmission hump. Yeah, CJ. M38 and M38A1. Yep. The CJ5, some of them. Uh, kind of look the look same. Like 71 took them. Lots of hoods in stock for the CJ5s, M38s. CJ2A windshields. That's the MB, the MB the red. Yep. Yeah. CJs are down there. We do have plenty of those in stock. Looks like you got some bumper rope too. Yep. Lots of goodies. Got a whole bunch of hoods back here. Hoods and windshield frames from CJs. Gas tank sitting there. Looks like you got some replacement panels for the CJs. Yeah, fuel side panels, yep, for the five. You don't sell many of those, do you? They're hard to ship and cost a lot, don't they? They do cost a lot. I you mean, can buy a, a body people, and you just you're yeah, there you and you're the done. Body, the people don't want to spend their time welding. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Just get a new body, people, and <laughs> unless you're trying to keep something original or something like that. But yeah. it's cheaper. Labor is expensive. Just get you a new body and go on. So. I do keep brand new John Deere winches in stock. I think I've got around four, two new ones, and a couple of takeoffs right now. If you guys need any winches? I even have one right now to fit the G Series dozer, which they don't make anymore. So, if you guys looking for one of those? Let me know. Price on those kind of start around 18 or so, and going up. Oh yeah, you've got a lot of stuff in here. 
do. This is not even half of it. No, no. <laughs> Gas tanks. All right. Oh, here's a. This is a what? A CJ8. It's a scrambler. Yeah. So it's a scrambler. That's a long one. You guys kind of see what they look like. Scramblers always had that funky wheel wheel. I thought. This is what 70 or 81 to 86. Is that right? 86. Yeah, they only made those. I always thought these kind of a neat Jeep. So, you got this one going out or? This one is sold, guys. Yeah. Going to pick it up Monday. There's a lot of guys restoring these things. I don't know. Yeah. We keep them in stock. So, you guys uh, looking for something? Let us know. I try to keep everything in stock we sell. Sometimes you do run out of stuff. You get people buying stuff, and but yeah, we got another I know. load. I'm getting ready to place another order with MD1, so we'll have another load or two coming in here soon. So. Yep, yep. Well, there you go. So you can't buy a Jeep in a crate. I get that comment all the time too. That's just a you can fault. buy a Jeep in a crate. What they call not, a Jeep in a crate is not a complete running. You ready better to go you better have you a motor and transmission yeah. and axles and wiring harnesses and all the little knickknacks. And, system. And, yeah. Yeah. All you're getting is a body and. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Pretty much. In a frame. All right. That's about it here. How are you liking your new forklift? You no, know, I really like it. That's a special one, isn't it? I do. Yes, it is. A special edition Healy Taylor. Healy Taylor. All right. Get that green. So, uh, you guys have seen this video on Sunday. The bad thing is, I think Jay's on vacation next week. So, if you guys are interested in stuff, you're going to have to talk to Uncle Scott. I'll work my way through it. <laughs> Only special price I gave anybody or anything was the uh, Light skid steer out front. I told them 31000 on it. So. 31000 Come everything, get it. Everything else is on our website. We do always have a little bit of negotiation, or sometimes we can throw in shipping if you're not too far away on the prices it's on there. So let us know on that stuff. But, uh, yeah, drop us an email. A lot of times the phones get busy. It's hard to answer. Uh, you're not going to pick up the phone and call and talk to me because I'm never around, right? Very seldom. Well, Just very today. Seldom. <laughs> Email is the best way if you got some kind of question or something like that. If you want to buy something, give us a call. The information will be down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. We got some epic stuff coming down the line on some new property we got. And uh, that little John Deere dozer in there. Plenty of videos coming out on that thing. So appreciate everybody watching. And uh, we'll catch you next time.